Parts of the Northeast woke up to record-breaking cold this morning. Some good news, though. A warming trend is coming in pretty quickly. Our meteorologist, Dylan Dreyer, looks at what's in store. Dylan. Good evening, Thomas. It is the coldest weather we've seen so far this season, and in fact, the coldest Valentine's Day on record. It's all thanks to the polar vortex dropping down this cold Arctic air from Canada. And we are going to see things turn the corner as we go into tomorrow. But this morning, we broke records in New York City with a temperature of minus one. The old record in Boston was minus three. We bottomed out at minus nine this morning. Albany, 13 below. Watertown, New York, started off the day at 37 degrees below zero. Monday, we'll start to turn the corner. Temperatures will get above freezing in New York, 37 degrees for high. Boston, about 30 degrees. Buffalo should make it up to 35. Then watch what happens on Tuesday. Temperatures will soar back up into the mid-50s. That's about 15 degrees above average for the Northeast. Pittsburgh should even hit 41 degrees. So with this next storm system moving in, while it will start as snow, it will turn over to rain. So here we go, 5 o'clock in the morning on Monday. Some lighter snow showers back through West Virginia. We will see a brief period of heavier snow across Virginia and Washington, D.C. Quick one to three inches possible in Washington Monday morning. Then we'll see a turnover to rain as we go into Monday night. New York City will also see some uh, uh, light accumulations, about one to two inches, and then we'll see things turn over uh, to rain through the afternoon and evening on Tuesday uh, here in New York City. Thomas? Dylan, thank you very much.